I really like to use the sound input from the Grandy Mate 2. It allows you to create nice effects that looks very dynamic. In this case, I rebuilt an equalizer with some SGMP5. Some flat white solids move sound controlled over the layout. It also looks very good when the color and intensity is audio controlled. The wool stage is popping. For example, if I run the color in a reggae concert, that is quite nice. But if I control the speed by the audio signal, it's a lot more dynamic. And how this works, I want to show you. Inside of the effect engine of the Grandimate 2, it is able to bring up an audio signal direct to the attributes of your picture. For this, you have the choice of different parameters from your audio. But this is not what we want. If you use a common pan effect, you have the possibility to control the speed by a speed master fader. So you can bring up the speed to the level you just need for your live output. This is the same pan effect, even the form is controlled by audio. You see that the result is moderate, also when you do some adjustments with the sound in or the fade level. Much nicer it will be if you use the sinus form for the pan and the audio to control the speed. Unfortunately, it is impossible to connect the audio signal direct with your effect speed. But I will show you how to do this. First, you have to patch and control fixture. Open setup, go to patch, choose a new layer and label it. Click dimmer, I will name it, given fixture ID and patch it. I will patch it intentionally to a high DMX universe, cause it will be just in virtual channel and never get out physically. Apply and get out. I will store this fixture in a group. Next on our way, we have to create some presets. 20% intensity will be my low level. I will use 20% and not zero, cause I like that the effect comes too slow and not stop on the low audio level. The same is with the high preset. I will generate it with 80%, maybe I need some headroom later. After we finish, we can go over to program our sound controlled effect. We take our control fixture, choose form and the base form. We will use the effect range from our presets, low for the bottom point and high for the upper one. The effect will be executed between our both dimmer presets. Store this to an open place in your effect pool and hit clear. For starting your effect, assign it to a free executor. Start your effect and give an audio signal to the sound input. Switch over to the DMX sheet and you will note that the DMX channel we patched before will give us the output between our dimmer presets, controlled by the audio. So far so good. Now make sure that the speed control is assigned to an executor fader. In our case, to page 1, executor 5. Now open the setup menu again. Go to Remote Input and to the DMX Remote Layer, add a new layer and name it. For your control input, choose the DMX address from the control fixture. Now we will give the information of our target. Our speed fader is an executor. On page 1, executor 5. And we like to control the fader. That's it. You don't have to confirm, it will be directly connected. Back to our stage view, we will see that the sound is controlling our speed fader. Now you can start your speed control pan effect, and you will see that the movement speed depends on the sound. 
By using the buttons half speed, double speed and the sound fade, you can do some adjustments. Now you can do some play around with some other attributes, like beam or intensity. You have to find out how this can help you to bring your show to a higher level. I am Fitz. Thank you for watching this tutorial and if you like, leave some comments below.